Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with uh, electrical and electronics measurement. In the previous videos, we discussed about the performance characteristics of instruments or measuring systems. And we also discussed about the static and dynamic characteristics. So there are a lot of uh, performance characteristics on the basis of which we can evaluate a particular measurement system. Uh, so we discussed various uh, such uh, things. So I told you that we will be discussing uh, one performance characteristic in one video in a separate video so that we understand each one of them in a good way. So in this video we are going to discuss about uh, an important performance characteristic of a measuring system uh, which comes under the static characteristics which is accuracy okay accuracy of a measuring system now when we say accuracy we have to also discuss error and correction because these things go hand in hand okay you cannot discuss accuracy without discussing error and correction okay so we'll discuss these things in one video. So just a quick uh, recap, the characteristics of the instruments, the performance characteristics, uh, they can be divided into two categories, static and dynamic. The static characteristics are those which more or less they remain constant or they vary very slowly with time. The important static characteristics are accuracy, sensitivity, reproducibility, drift, uh, like I said, error, the static error, dead zone, a lot of things. These are just to name a few. So in this video, we are going to discuss about accuracy and static error. Okay. So what is accuracy? What is the general definition of accuracy? So we can define it for a measuring measurement system or an instrument as the closeness with which the value which is measured by the instrument or the output of the instrument, it approaches the true value of the parameter or quantity under measurement. How close the measured value by the instrument or the output of the instrument actually is to the true value. For example, let us say we are measuring temperature of an object. Let us say the actual uh, temperature, the temperature which is there actually in real it is let us say 100 degrees Celsius. But when we measure it with the help of a temperature measuring device be it a thermometer or anything rtd thermistor therm whatever that reading is let's say 100.1 or 100.2 or let's say it's 103 104 105 so these are the measured values 100.1 100.2 100.3 101 102 okay these are just measured values which are given by the instrument the actual value, the true value is 100 degrees Celsius. So, there is some difference between the measured value and the true value. It will always be there. There will always be some deviation from the true value. There is no such instrument we can, which can exactly give the actual output of a parameter or quantity without any error. It is not possible to achieve zero error. It is not possible. There will always be error. So how, how close or how much narrow or how much small the difference is between the measured value and true value, the smaller the difference, the better the instrument. Okay. So all we can do is to try to figure out ways how we can minimize the difference between the measured value and the true value. There will always be error. How can we reduce the amount of error, the magnitude of the error? That is the 
main task of instrumentation engineers or electrical engineers or electronics engineer while uh, while they design a measuring instrument or apparatus so we can say that it is the degree of correctness of the measuring instrument okay so this is the basic definition of accuracy now there are various factors which affect the accuracy of an apparatus first is what type of quantity is being measured whether it is temperature whether it is pressure whether it is humidity whether it is displacement whether it is um, um, concentration of some chemical it depends so depending on that there is always specifications about okay so this uh, we are measuring this uh, quantity or parameter so there will be a lot of specifications related to the measurement of that uh, parameter or quantity which is predetermined so depending on that uh, the various uh, types of measurement and their output it, it is adjusted then is the quality of the instrument okay how uh, much you know good the instrument is uh, what is its design the design characteristics all of that then is the accuracy of observation now it depends on the uh, person who is uh, taking the readings whether he is taking he or she is taking the readings in the right way whether he is uh, uh, observing you know uh, there is any error in the observation whether he is recording writing the recording the data in the right way so that the also affects the accuracy then how is the measuring instrument applied whether it is installed in the right way faulty installation will also cause uh, inaccurate output data so these are the various factors that affect accuracy so when we discuss accuracy we have to discuss about error because it is error it is because of error that the topic of accuracy comes into play if there would have been no error then there is no need to discuss about accuracy so it is uh, the accuracy which is expressed actually in terms of errors okay we have to express the percentage of accuracy of a measuring instrument in terms of error we will discuss about that in a separate video what are the different ways of expressing accuracy so for now you just understand it is in terms of errors okay the accuracy is specified okay so like i said no matter how much we try it is impossible to get the actual the true value of the parameter or quantity under measurement there will always be some amount of error it can be 0.0001 but there will be error it can be 0.1 it can be 1 it can be 10 but there will be error okay it is not possible to get zero error in output no matter how carefully we design the instrument how carefully we apply it how carefully we take the recordings there will always be error so it is our job to minimize the error as much as we can okay so error can be defined as the difference between the measured value of a quantity which is uh, the output of the instrument the measuring system and its actual value the true value the difference between that is called as error now normally when we uh, talk about error it is mostly static error okay dynamic error is a different thing uh, dynamic error it mostly comes into play when the true value or the actual value it continuously changes mostly it uh, it will come into play in control systems and also in process dynamics and control well that is a separate thing let us not confuse right now with that so when we talk about error it means static error it means the true value or actual value of the quantity or parameter is fixed so this error the difference between the measured value and the true value static error e subscript s is equal to the measured value vm minus the true value vt this is called as the static error and it can either be positive or negative okay 
when the measured value is greater than the true value it is positive when it is lesser than the true value it is negative okay for example let's say uh, we measure we are measuring some voltage and uh, its true value actual value is 112.6 volt and its measured value is 112.68 volt so the static error will be the difference between the true the measured value and the true value which is 112.68 minus 112.6 which is plus 0.08 volt so this is positive because the measured value is greater than the true value if the situation would have been reversed then it would have been minus uh, 0.08 volt okay so this is the static error okay it is one way of representing error another way of uh, expressing error is is it is called as relative static error okay the mathematical representation for that the relative stat, uh, static error er e subscript r is the difference between the measured value and the true value divided by the true value which is actually static error divided by the true value vm minus vt is static error es and vt is the true value so relative static error is equal to static error divided by true value this representation is called as relative static error for this uh, case the relative static error will be the static error 0 0.08 divided by true value which is 112.6 so it will be the relative static error will be this 0.00 triple zero seven one zero four seven there are a lot of other uh, figures which i have not taken into consideration so this is the round figure so this is the relative static error then we have to discuss about correction now correction is just uh, it is the we can say the opposite of error okay so it is defined as the difference between the true or actual value of the quantity and the measured value okay so it is just the negative of the static error it is the amount of correction that we have to perform on the instrument so that the measured value and the true value they are the same so it is just the negative of the static error okay correction or static correction it is the negative of static error okay so the for this case the error is plus 0 0.08 volt then the correction will be minus 0 0.08 volt the static correction will be minus 0 0.08 volt okay so correction is just the opposite okay of static error so here we have discussed about uh, the performance characteristics that is accuracy and also while discussing accuracy we also discussed about error the different ways of expressing error and about correction okay so in the other videos we are going to discuss uh, other performance characteristics there are a lot of performance characteristics so we'll be discussing them one by one in separate videos so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much